Hello friends, my name is Namita Bhaladari and I am the author for Introspective Affair along with many other books. You can find my book on my website namintabhaladari.com and also on Amazon. And welcome to the third episode of Jataka Tale. Today, I got you a beautiful tale from Life of Buddha that will surely inspire you to be more generous. Before we start, let's start with our prayer to Tathagata. Om Muni Muni, Mahamuni Shakyamuni Swaha. Let's start with our today's story. Today's story title is A Small Portion of Cruel. This is a tale of generosity. In this lifetime, the Bodhisattva was a king of Kaushalya, beloved by all his subjects. The king possessed many good virtues, but one quality surpassed all other his talent for gaining prosperity. While in deep sleep one night, the king came to recall one of his previous life and was deeply moved. He then began to mysteriously repeat to his subject that all his prosperity for their kingdom was produced by a very small portion of a gruel. Although intrigued, nobody in this kingdom understood what he meant and none of them had a courage to ask. He continued to repeat this. And the curiosity of his people continued to grow. Until one day, while in front of his grand assembly, the queen besieged him to explain himself. He stated that he recalled a past life in which he was a very poor servant. He remembered working hard, barely being able to support his family and becoming entangled in feeling of contempt and sorrow. Yet, when he came upon travelling a group of monks, he invited them into his small, small house and offered them all he had, which was just a small portion of a gruel. It was because of this one small act that he was reborn as a great king. He proclaimed that no act of kindness is small, even if it is extremely small, and it should be given from a heart. Having witnessed the wonderful result of generosity, the people of Kaushalya also developed a high regard for a meritorious action. Prosperity of his kingdom continued to flourish even greater than before. Buddha has described three group of people existing in the world based on their habit of giving. One who is like a rainless cloud. Second, who rains locally. And third, one who rains everywhere. One who is like a rainless cloud is a person who does not make any offering to a religious recluse, to the poor, destitute or to the needy. One who reigns locally is a person who makes offering to some people but not to the others. One who reigns everywhere is a person who makes offering to all these people. We should never underestimate the power of small gifts. Even if a person throws a rice ball in a village pond, thinking may whatever animal live here, feed on this, that would be a source of merit. What isn't given is lost. So when the world is on fire with aging and death, one should give. We need to conquer our anger with lack of anger, bad with good, stinginess with a gift, and a liar with the truth. What mice of fear that keeps him from giving? 
is the very danger that comes when he does not give. No miser go to the world of devas. Those who does not praise giving are fools. The enlightened express their approval for giving. And so find ease in this world and beyond. Thank you, my friend. This was my session for this week. Hope to meet you next week with a new story. And please have a look at my books on Amazon. Thank you so much. Have a lovely week ahead.